Hi guys, welcome back to another Windows 8 tutorial and this tutorial is going to be even more special than the ones I've had in the previous tutorials that are on my YouTube channel at Flippin' Windows. Now this tutorial is going to be revolving around the start menu and the type of tiles that we have with our desktop applications when we do pin them. Now if I were to go ahead and go to our start menu, we can see that we have a couple of the desktop applications pinned to the start menu with the description of the icon and also the font and the, the text for it. For instance, we have a little small icon for Skype. We have a small icon for XL 2013 and a very small icon for Angry Birds. Now, this has been a problem with most uh, or some that just think that it would be more wiser to go ahead and have full-fledged tile icons for our desktop applications. Now, there has been proven away, and I'd like to go ahead and introduce a program called Obli Tile. Now, what this program does is it lets you search for a program or a file or anything else for that matter, and once you find it, it allows you to go ahead and pin a name, uh, make it visible or invisible, and also allows you to make a full-fledged tile that, to where it covers the whole tile instead of having just one icon. Now, I'm going to go ahead and walk you through it. So when you guys go ahead and download this program from the Show More tab, just follow along with me. If you guys need to pause to go ahead and catch up, go ahead and pause the YouTube video. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and start by clicking on it and you guys can go ahead and double click or click on it to open the application. Now with the Obli tile at the current version of 0.8, we're going to go ahead and give it a name. So let's just say, for example, we're going to start with Skype. We're going to go ahead and type in Skype. All right. And then we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and hide the tile name because I don't want it shown. Next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the program path, wherever that might be. It should usually be in the programs file. So I'm going to go to the local disk C and under possibly program files 86. And there we have our Skype folder. So we can go over here and also you can go on the desktop and look for your shortcuts if they are there too as well. I'm going to go over here, wherever the application is. And there's my application. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to press open. And there we have our Skype. Next, we're going to go ahead and go to the tile image. And where that might be is inside the extension folder where I gave you guys uh, that download. So in that zip file or that folder that you guys have open, you want to go ahead and click on the browse button. And where the custom tiles folder is, you want to go ahead and go inside it. Now they're categorized, so programs, icons, games, pro, uh, web, and office. Now it should usually be under programs, so we can go ahead and go over here, pick Skype, and then press open. Do the same thing with the tile small. So go back to that custom tiles folder and go over here and select it. And then uh, you can choose your tile background color, which is pretty cool, and just uh, create tile and the tile has been created and press OK. So the only way to go ahead and check this is go to your start menu by pressing the Windows key on your keyboard. And let's see if it's there. Now it is there. So let's go ahead and drag it over here and we'll put it right here next to Skype and see the difference. Now we know that very well that's Skype and it's a full-fledged tile. So we can do the same thing, for example, uh, Adobe Reader. So let's go over to the application again, but just put Adobe Reader. And this time we're going to go ahead and put a name. Reader. There we go. We won't hide it. We'll go ahead and search for Adobe Reader by going into your local C disk or onto the desktop where the application might be uh, shortcutted. Over here. There we go. And here we have it. So I'll go ahead and select Adobe Reader and then I'll go ahead and look for the tile image and into the programs. There we have it. And same thing with the other tile small version of it. And we will go ahead and create that tile and see what comes up with our Windows key to the start menu. And there we have it. We have Adobe Reader and a full fledged version of the tile. And this goes same thing with, you know, the Office Suite. Also, let's just say, for example, you want to go ahead and make uh, some links and you want to put them on your start menu and it kind of looks cheesy if you have it like this. Well, same thing could be done just like the way you did it. You can go ahead and make a link like that. Let's say for example, instead of DeviantArt the way it looks like there, you can actually have the DeviantArt logo as the link and etc. 
Now, the only way you can possibly do this is if you have Internet Explorer 9 on your desktop. And let's just say, for example, you have Google.com. The only way you can go ahead and get that link and search for it is pressing the Start button, Add to Favorites. It'll be added. Just press that. And make sure you have it added to the favorites. Now, where that will be located is on the, the user folder under Favorites. And there you will have your Internet shortcut. Next thing that you want to do is you want to start your Obli tile. You want to go ahead and press uh, Google or whatever link that you have. You want to look, go ahead and look for the program path. Now, inside your favorites where that link is, you want to go ahead and press and select it. It might pause for a second depending on your computer performance. So allow that to go ahead and adjust itself. Okay, so once that's selected, you want to go ahead and press Tile Image. You want to go ahead to Pictures, Custom Tiles, and then to the web. And just press uh, Google. And then press Open. And then the same thing with the previous smaller version of that tile. And Google once more. And then create that tile, and let's see if there's a difference. And there is. Again, we have Google right here. So that's been made. So that's just about it. Here's the thing I would encourage you guys, and those developers that are possibly paying attention. You can start with any type of photo editing program. Create a tile, uh, 256 by 256, a nice square tile. Make sure that it's very centered. Save it in PNG format because that's what this program requires when it looks for these images, PNG. Another thing that you can do is save them and just develop them. Make them high resolution, otherwise they'll just look like crap. If you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and let them be known inside the comments bar. And until next time, I'll go ahead and be making more videos. All right, take care, guys.